One of the most difficult conversations anyone can have is coming out to their parents. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a clip where the main character does just that, and then we'll dissect it. Mom. Mm -hmm. You know Charlie's like my best friend. If you're going to ask if he can come on Arm and Oak holiday this year, the answer's no, because I've already booked the ticket. No, that's, um, that's not what I was going to say. He's my boyfriend. Charlie's my boyfriend. I, I still like girls, but, um... I like boys, too. And, and me and Charlie, we're... We're going out. And I just... wanted you to know. So, let's just pause here. This is obviously an incredibly pregnant moment. And there's a lot to unpack. Uh, what I really like though here is just the directness of delivery and also the willingness of Nick, the main character here, to really sit with the discomfort. Um, he is clear, uh, direct, honest, um, and not forcing a response from his mom. Oh, baby. Oh. oh, thank you for telling me. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you couldn't tell me that. You don't have to say you like girls if you don't. No, I, um... It's definitely not just guys. I, um... It's, it's called bisexuality, if you've heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that. I wasn't born in the 18th century. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you known? Well, um, me and Charlie started going out a couple months ago, but I started liking him way before that. Oh, I love you. <laughs> oh. Let's really unpack this clip in some more detail. Coming out is such a hard conversation. And it's really a hard conversation for mostly everybody. Some people are really fortunate, like Nick in this clip. Even though he may be feeling a lot of anxiety about this, mom is completely supportive, totally loving, very on board. And for many of us, when we come out, we don't get that kind of response. And even if we are gonna get that kind of response, it feels scary for so many reasons. Because even parents who would be very accepting often aren't anticipating that their child might be LGBTQ. And we continue to live in society where that, for being LGBTQ is really outside of acceptability in many places, um, is uncomfortable, uh, particularly in your teen years. So there's a bunch of things that Nick does here that are incredibly skillful. First, it's really clear that he has actually set up a time to have this conversation with mom. Um, it's not that he's springing it on her. Second thing I really want to commend him for is staying with this conversation. There is this moment in the beginning, right? He says, You know Charlie's like my best friend. And then mom does something that actually parents sometimes do when they have a sense that they might be getting news they don't want to hear particularly in a conversation about coming out, she changes the topic. If you're going to ask if he can come on Arm and Oak holiday this year, the answer is no. But then what Nick does so nicely, right? Because that's the moment where if you're feeling hesitant, you run for the hills and change the topic. But he doesn't do that. He sticks in there and is very clear with, her, with his message saying, no, he's my boyfriend. I think the other thing that's really skillful here is the way in which he really makes time for his mom to actually respond. Instead of coming up with a lot of arguments, instead of getting defensive, he pauses and just really allows her to react however it is she reacts. Those moments of discomfort and difficult conversations 
are incredibly, incredibly challenging. If you're a parent on the other side of this conversation, um, depending on your religious views, your personal views, um, your hopes for your child, this can be incredibly hard and devastating news. For other parents on this, this side of things, maybe you're fine with it or okay with it, like the mom here. I mean, clearly, for those of us who are LGBTQ, right, Olivia Coleman's response is kind of the dream response. Oh, baby. Oh. oh, thank you for telling me. I'm sorry if I ever made you feel like you couldn't tell me that. But wherever you fall, the most important thing here is to really listen to your child, to really ask questions if you're curious, um, and to do what mom does so well here, right? Very clearly, to say, I love you. Um, because probably what your child most needs in this moment is to hear that. Um, so a few more, uh, a few more things uh, that, are, that are worth noting here. One, is both mom and son here are doing a really good job of paying attention to body language, of establishing eye contact, of being raw and open with their emotions. As we draw to a close, I wanna say a few things, because I suspect if you're LGBTQ and if you're thinking about coming out, um, seeing a clip like this can on the one hand feel really encouraging and also perhaps really worrying. Uh, because if your parents are unlikely or less likely to respond in the way Olivia Coleman does, this conversation feels even more fraught for you. So I want to say a few more things that are worth noting that you might not get from this clip. One, if you've seen this show, which by the way I recommend, you know that Nick has a really wide uh, circle of supportive friends. And before having a conversation like this, it's important that you have some resources whether it's friends, a counselor, or somebody who can be there for you if the conversation doesn't land well. Secondly, it is okay to be worried and nervous and afraid. And you see Nick feeling that. He's my boyfriend. Third, um, if you feel like you can't have this conversation, um, it's okay. Everyone has this conversation at a time and a place that's right for them. When you do it, do it on your own terms, as Nick does here. Do it in a way where you have some resources, uh, some, some ways to handle it if it doesn't go well. And know that there's a wider community of support ready to hold you and take care of you in this tender moment. If you are a parent and you hear something like this, and it's deeply disconcerting and upsetting, in that moment, Try to breathe through it. Try as best you can to be there for your child. And that doesn't mean that you'll still feel okay about it. That doesn't mean that you'll still agree. But also there are resources available to you. There's organizations like PFLAG that can help you process. Um, reach out to your own friends, sometimes within your religious community. There may be people who specialize in this and can help you really process. Having a difficult conversation like coming out Lastly, is a real gift. It is a gift to the person initiating the conversation, and it's also a gift to the person on the other end. It's a sign of love, it's a sign of trust, and it's a sign that really that child coming out to you wants to have an ongoing, authentic, and real relationship with you. So if you are a young person who is struggling a bit with your sexuality, who has some questions and trying to process, whether or how you might come out to parents or friends, there are some links in the bio here that I'd recommend that could be helpful. Similarly, if you are a parent who maybe has had a child come out to you recently, and if you'd like some resources as well, there are also some things available to you here. So you can check out those links in the description below. And if you wanna watch some more videos on difficult conversations, stay tuned for this one analyzing Pretty different show, it's Euphoria. I'm Bob Bourdon, thanks for watching, and let's keep negotiating. Here's that video, Rue gets herself in quite the difficult situation. Let's see what that's about.